I think I, I grew up and I was really interested in Formula One. I was just like, oh, I could be a driver. And then decided that I was much too old for that and that I could go and design the cars. But then I decided that looks a bit too complicated. And so I applied to a, sort of, to a range of sort of civil structural engineering firms in terms of, yeah, let's go build some buildings and do some cool stuff. My research is in geotechnical engineering, so essentially soil and stuff. Um, so I'm particularly focused on sort of foundation engineering, so installing sort of pile foundations, digging at big excavations for metro networks, that kind of thing, trying to work on the effect of how the soil impacts on the structures around. So I'm the course tutor for the MSc in civil engineering. So we've made sure that it's a sort of multifunctional MSc program. So we've got a lot of sort of analytical sort of modules where you sort of learn the fundamentals, the underlying theories, the principles, and then the other half is then weighted more towards the design, the practical side. So you'll find that uh, for the civil MSc in particular, we've got our three strands of structures, geotechnics and water, and each one of those will have a, a sort of analytical module and then a design module as core, and then two more sort of optional modules at the end. So I think one of the selling points of the course in civil engineering is the sort of multifaceted nature of the program. So the fact that we've got a sort of straight up sort of geotech, a structures and a water stream, all in the sort of same program feels relatively unique for courses in the UK, which tend to have a more heavy focus. So working engineering, it's that kind of facilitate, facilitating something that couldn't be done before. So it's that idea of saying, well, we don't really know how this works, or we've tried this and we can't get our head around it. And so it's the it feels like the engineer's responsibility to come in, understand enough of the problem to then give an, a sort of recommendation for improvements. So in terms of my sort of short career, I sort of really enjoyed designing stuff that has then been built. And so I've got a couple of things in Manchester that's got my sort of stamp on it in terms of that was what I did. Um, I've got, sort of solved a couple of weirder problems in terms of how do we get around this problem? Like how do we get fix this thing? And then later on in terms of research, it's been sort of refining processes. So can we understand this phenomenon that we couldn't before? How does that then impact to make our sort of op industry operation, our construction of sort of operation more efficient? And so I think it's that sort of practical nature that's really quite the nice bit.